morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad that we are alive and well and in it. For those of you who have not tuned in in quite a while, Happy New Year. I know it's the third Sunday. It's January the 15th, 2023. But for those of you who have not tuned in in a while, Happy New Year to you. God bless you. You may you may have a great and prosperous year with, with the Lord. Again, I thank Pastor Turner for this opportunity to again stand before the people of God and to again to be used by God to teach, to teach his word. I also shout out again to Pastor Emeritus Jennings. God bless you. Continue to serve the Lord, continue, and we continue to love you. From, 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 the book of, from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 14 through chapter 5, verses, chapter 5, verse 10. Let us pray. God, our Father, we lift you up again to magnify your name. We gift you up to give you glory, honor, and praise. We lift you up to, to applaud you and to laud you because of who you are. You are almighty God. You are the great I am. Father, we thank you for being who you are, not in just that realm, but in our lives. We thank you for the relationship that you have given to each one of us this day. This is the day you have made, and you have made it and allowed us to be alive to see this day, and we say thank you. We ask you now, Father, that you would again have your way, do what you always do, and that is bless your people. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Holy prayer, my simple, Holy Spirit, my simple prayer is, have your way, do what you want to do, say what you want to say. You get the glory, we get your blessing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4, starting at verse 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in the things pertaining to God, that he may bring, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way? For he that he himself is also compassed with infirmity. And by reason hereof, he ought, as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. And no man taketh this honor unto himself. But he that is called of God, as was Aaron, so also was Christ glorified, not by, not himself to be made an high priest. But he said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. And, and as he saith unto in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him, that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he may become the author of eternal salvation unto them all that obeyed him. Called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek. From the New Living Translation, these same verses. So then... Since we have a great high priest who has entered the heaven, entered, entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly, firm, firmly to what we, what we believe. Hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he was faced of all things, uh, uh, faced of all the same testings we do, yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the, to the throne of our gracious God. There we may receive his mercy and will we find grace to help us when we need it and when we need it the most. Every high priest is a man chosen to represent other people in their dealings with God. He presents their gifts to God and offers sacrifices for their sin. And he is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward with people because he himself is subject to the same weaknesses. This is why he must offer sacrifices for his own sin as well as theirs. 
and no one can be, and no one, can, no one can become a, high, a priest, a high priest, simply because he wants such an honor. He must be called by God for this work, just as Aaron was. This is why Christ did not honor himself by assuming he, assuming he could become a high priest. No, he was chosen by God, who said to him, "You are my son." And in another passage, God, God said to him, you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. While Jesus was here on earth, he offered, he offered prayers and pleadings with a loud cry and tears to one who could, who could rescue him from death. And God heard his prayers because of, the, because of his deep reverence for God. Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things he suffered. In this way, God qualified him as a high priest, and he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. And God designated him to be a high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through chapter 5, verse 10. To, who has been, to whom was this letter written? It was written definitely to Jewish believers. It was written to show, that, to, to show that the Jews that God was giving them a new covenant. God was changing the way he's going to do things. Uh, three reasons, three reasons, three reasons why God was changing. He was to show that, to show that God is fulfilling the old covenant by giving, giving all men a new covenant. There would be, in, in this new covenant, there would be no more animal sacrifices, and there would be no more uh, 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 High priest pleading, pleading the blood for, for the sins of the people. The, sec the, second, the second reason was to give a strong word of exhortation, a strong word of encouragement. That comes out of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 2. S some, of, some of those, some of those ex ex exhortations were, were all under the heading, heading of let us, allow us, uh, allow us, or this is what you should be doing. You should fear God. You should labor for God. You should come boldly before the throne of God. You should go on in God. You should draw near to God. You should hold fast for God. You, can, you should consider one another. You should lay aside every weight. You should, you should have grace. You should go for it. You should offer the sacrifice of praise, of praise to our, to our God. It, not, not only with that, was, it was written to give a strong, well, one, one side was to give a strong word of, of encouragement. The other side was to give a strong word of warning. Warning, 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 trouble ahead, warning, warning, danger ahead. It's, it's the danger of, of, of neglecting the salvation, the danger of, of drifting away. It, it's, it's the danger of hardening, one, hardening one's heart. It, it's, it's, it's the danger of, of, of missing out on the rest that God wants to, to give you. It's, it's, the danger, it's the danger. It's the danger of immaturity. It's the danger of, of falling away. The danger of immaturity. The danger of not growing up growing up in, in God. It's, 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 it's the warning. It's, it's, it's the danger of, 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 not, of, of being careful not to fall away. It, it, it's the danger of, 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 of apostasy, of, of withdrawing themselves from Christ. It, it's, the, it's, the, it's the danger. It's the danger of refusing to hear Christ, of shedding one's ears out and to hearing, what, to, hearing to what God has, wants to say to them in their life. Have you ever had a moment in your life when you shut your, when you shut your ears out to, and, and, and did not, let, did not hear, want to hear what God had to say? Oh, that's good. It's Paul. It's Paul's. It's Paul's. It's accessory exhortation. It's it's the writing of a new covenant of, of, of praise. The writing of praise for a, for a new covenant. But it was also a warning for the Jews to, uh, to, to hold on to, uh, to hold on to the new covenant. You know, sometimes when we get something new, we don't we, we don't want we don't want to hold on to it. We want to take a look at it, and if it doesn't feel like we want it to be, we don't want to hold on to it. And Paul is simply saying, "No, this is new now. This is the way God wants to do things now." And and you need and you and I need to hold on hold on to this. It's 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 the priesthood of the old covenant. The priesthood of the old covenant was was God ordained was was a was a God ordained position that began with Aaron, Moses' brother, to 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 meditate for the for Israel and to offer sins for the people. But no longer no longer was that needed. No longer were animal sacrifices needed, and God, uh, because Jesus Himself had become the sacrifice, the, the, the great High Priest, the sacrifice for the sins of the people. Paul's intercessory warning was to the Jews: "Was hold on." 2023. 
It's, 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 it's 2023. In 2023, there will be some different events that go on in your life. There will be some new events that go on in your life. It's the danger of trying to hold on, hold on to the past, to, to hold on to the past. The danger of trying to hold on to the past when God's trying to do something new and different in your life. Um, it's it's it, it, coming out of the theme of, of Grace Emmanuel for 2023. The theme for Grace Emmanuel for 2023 is position, position for the possibilities. God wants to position you. God wants to take you. God wants to put you in an arena for positioning, positioning you for the possibilities. The possibilities of what? The possibilities of, what, of God, how God wants to grow you and the possibilities of how God wants to use you and the possibility of, of you maturing and the, possi and the possibility of you being an intercessor. The possibility of God using you to, to be an intercessor in somebody's life. Three points. Three points. Three, 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 three points. From verses for Hebrew 4, verses 14 through 16. Position better than you ever have been. At the, end of, at the end of the year 2023, if you have listened to God, if you have walked with God, if, if God has interceded in your life, you ought to be positioned better than you ever have been. Verses 4 through 16, 14 through 16. The present point, point number two is Hebrews 5, 1 through 9. Position, position by God's qualifications. You got in the place you're in. You're, you're in the place you're in because God put you there. Yeah. The final, the final, the final, f f final uh, point of the lesson is uh, verse ten: position for the unique possibilities. What God's going to do to you, do for you, and do for me, and do for all of us is going to be a little bit different th this year. Yeah. All right. Position better than you ever have been because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. I have, I am better than I ever have been. Do you believe that? Because of Jesus, you are better than you ever have been in your life. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I have a testimony. What's your testimony? When you look back over your life and you think things over, Ponder them, massage them, muse on them, to use the word from Pastor Jennings, muse on them. When you muse and think about them, you ought to realize that you are better off than you were last year. The verse says, seeing then, so then, uh, 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 that we have our great high priest that is passed from the heavens, Jesus Christ the Lord. So then, from the, from the NI, NLT translation, so then, since we have a great high priest, who, had, who has entered the heavens, Jesus, the, the Son of God. He, he ministered, he, 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 he's, we, he's, he's, we're better off because Jesus ministers, ministers on, to God, on the, God the Father on our behalf. He's, he's, he sits in the presence of God the Father on our behalf. Jesus has passed into the heavens. He, he, is, he, is, before the, he is before the very throne of God. He is in the very presence of God him, himself. And, 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 but, he's, but he's ministering there for us, not for himself. He's ministering there for us. If, and, if, and if by chance you think 2022 was not a good year, and I'm not looking forward to anything, in 2023, if you think things are, if you think things are not like you want to be, uh, hold on, hold on to your faith. You know what hold on means? To, it means to grab hope with your hand. So, so let me say it differently. Grab hope with your heart. Grab hold with hope with hold with your mind and with your spirit, and hold on. It, it, it doesn't mean that the first time it, 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 you, it, the first time there's a little rumble that goes on in 2023, it does not mean that, that you, you, you lose your grip. It means, that it means that you hold on just a little bit tighter. Hold on to our faith. Mm. Mm. Isaiah 40 and 30. They that wait upon the Lord. How do you, how do you hold on? How do you do that? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. So there's going to be some days you can fly. They're gonna be, they shall run and not be weary. There's going to be some days you, 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 you can run, but, and you're not going to get tired, and they shall walk and not faint. And some days all you can do is walk. Is, is walk. And there are some days that the scripture doesn't say this, but let me add this. Some days all you can do is crawl. But while you crawl, while you run or walk or crawl, hold on to your faith. It's, 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 it, 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 there is no trial, there is, there is no, there is no, no trial or temptation that God won't see you through, see you through. Hold on to your faith. See, the Jews were going through an oppressive time. The Jews had been through an oppressive time. And the Jews had oppressive enemies, and, 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 and they were having hardships, and they were having suffering, and they were complaining, and, 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 and accusing God of forgetting them. Just, just, just because God hasn't answered it in, in, in your time span, or just because God hasn't answered it the way that you thought he ought to answer it, does not mean that God has forsaken you does not mean that God has turned his back on you. But they felt, that they, they felt that God was unconcerned and that God had walked away from them and, that, and, 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 and he didn't care about their welfare and he didn't care about their hardships and he didn't care about anything that was going on in their life. And, 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 and Jesus is sitting there talking about, uh, hold on, Daddy, that, that, that one's having a harder, that one's having a little harder time. Uh, can, you, can you just throw something a little bit more at him or her? Because they, if, if you don't, Daddy, they're not going to make it. And, 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 and God's father says, okay. <laughs> we have a high priest who feels with us. Uh, it, uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's the vernacular term of, of, of the people of, of, of Ebony Hugh. It's, 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 it's the vernacular term of, I, can, I feel for you. I feel with you. I feel you. I feel you. That's all God is simply saying is, I feel you. I, I, feel, I feel you with what went on in your life in 2022. And I will be there. To, I feel you when, in 2023. I will be there to help you through, 2000, through this entire year of 2023. Uh, and I, I will be your intercessor in heaven, holding, holding you up in 2023. I feel you. It, it says, but we have not a high priest which cannot be touched. Verse 15. We have cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. The word touch means the, 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 the does not feel, sympathize, or suffer with us. God feels your pain. It, 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 means, it, means, it means to sympathize with a person to the point that you feel their hurt and you feel their pain within your own heart. You really, you really want to know if you, if you got a friend, if your friend can't feel your pain sometimes, you may not have the friend that you think you have. The, 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 the idea is, is, is Jesus said is, is, is a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. The idea is, is that Jesus is our friend that actually suffers with us when we suffer. He, he knows. He, 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 know, he knows our sufferings. He knows when we become sick. He knows our trials. He knows our temptations. He knows our, 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 our emptiness. He knows our lack of person, the purpose. He, he knows our hunger. He knows, he knows our persecution. He, he, he knows even times sometimes when we're facing death. Hmm. Laying in the hospital room. The young, the, the, young, the young man from the Buffalo Bills. Laying in the hospital room. Dead on the field. When they have to give you mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, when they have to give you uh, 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 the pump your chest, you got problems. And God met that man on the field. And God got a witness from everybody. I, we, I, watched, I watched commentators, commentators on, 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 on football games. And one commentator said, I don't care if this is appropriate or not. I'm going to pray right here. God got a witness. There were people that interceded for that young man. He, I, I don't, he, he says he knows, but, I, but he has no sense of, of knowing the fullness of the prayers that went up for him. The point, the, point, the point of this verse is Jesus was sinless. But as we were in all things tempted as we were, as, as we are, yet without sin. Without sin, Jesus understood the loss of a loved one. Lazarus died. Jesus understood the, the thing of loneliness. I come to the garden alone. Jesus understood. The, Jesus under the, the suffering of persecution when he faced death, going to the to the cross. Jesus understands what we're going through. He 
was tempted in all things just as we are, but, but he never sinned. He never threw in the towel. He never said, I quit. He never said, I, I can't. Let me just put it in my vernacular. I can't do this. I, 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 I want to quit. He, he, he never did that. He went through every trial. He went through every experience. He went through every temptation. And he did them all without sinning. This thought just hit me. Can we, can we make it through our trials? When we make it through our, our, our temptations, can we make it through the issues that go on in our life without sinning? Sinning, sinning. The, getting a bad spirit about what's going on. Sinning, complaining, sinning. You know, just uh, uh, giving, up, giving up on God, sinning, sinning, sinning. Jesus, Jesus did not sin while he went through all of that. Look, after looking over by, uh, back over my life, I, I realized I'm, I'm positioned to ask. Verse 16, I am positioned to ask. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. You, you and I can approach God. Do we, you and I can, can I, 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 I dare you, I dare you to try and get near President Biden. I dare you. Because you'll have secret agents all over you, civil service agents, all, 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 secret service agents all over you, and you won't even be able to breed good. But you can approach Jesus. You can approach him no matter what's going on in your life. And, and, and the good thing about it is why you're approaching him, uh, uh, Deacon Wives approaching him, and Sister Whitehead's approaching him, and Sister Thompson's approaching him, and Pastor Turner's approaching him, and 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 and, 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 and the sister, sister sister Turner's the church, and Sister Jenny, brother Pastor Jennings, and Sister De all, all of us are approaching him at the same time, and, and and he can and he can handle all of our cases, handle what's going on in life, all at the same time. So we approach him with respect, and we, we approach him with that reverence. That's what Paul, Paul was telling the Jews. Approach God right. So I, I've, got, I've, got some, I've got some grandkids. My older sister, my parents know what I'm talking about with this. Sometimes, sometimes they ask wrong. Come on, y'all. I know, I, I, know, I, know, I know somebody sitting out there nodding their head right now. Sometimes, sometimes they ask wrong. And when they ask wrong, I just look at them. Like, did you realize who you're talking to? I'm grandpa. <laughs> you, can, you, you can ask me with a better tone and ask me with a better spirit, spirit than that. How it, is, how it it is asked can determine the response a person gives. How, how we ask God. Man, what you doing in my life? You're messing things up in my life. I, and, and why did you let this happen to me? You can ask wrong. You can ask God wrong, and God will sit there and look at you like, like we as parents do when some of our kids ask wrong and our grandkids ask wrong. We just sit there and look at them like, you're not getting an answer from me today because you just you didn't ask right. Approach God with respect. Two questions. Two questions. Two questions. How, how, how can a holy God who sits on, a, or sits on a glorious and majestic throne of the universe be so gracious, uh, uh, be so gracious to, 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 to an unholy man? Or an only unholy woman. How, how 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 can God care for a man who or care for a man, care for a woman, care for a creature who has cursed him, denied him, ignored against him, and and, re, and and rebelled against him? And and I'll give you the answer. Your grace and mercy. You know that song. I'm not gonna sing it. Can't sing. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. That's, that's, that's how God, God comes to us. That's how God handles us. He handles us with grace and mercy. Verse 16, that we may find grace, uh, mercy and grace to find help in the tide of need. When you got a need, you need some grace. And when, and when you got a need, you need some mercy. Gra grace, what you didn't deserve, and mercy, handing out what you, giving you do what you don't deserve. You need some grace, and, and you need some mercy. And if you live long enough in this world, and you go through enough trials and, and tribulations, you'll need some grace and some mercy. If you have some people roll their eyes at you or walk away from you, you're going to need some grace, and you're going to need some mercy. 
and God as Christ is there on the throne, throne room of God. And he's seated there as the Savior. And he sits there pleading our case. Daddy, 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 Daddy God, Abba Father, give him some more grace. Give them, give, them, give them some more grace. Give them some more mercy. Because right now they need grace, and right now they need mercy. Give it to them, Daddy. And Daddy says, okay, just because you asked, son, that's what I'm going to do. The, 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 the father, the Abba Father, the Daddy God, this is to his son. Whatever Jesus asks, the Father does. Because see, see, whatever Jesus asks, not going to be wrong. Not going to be wrong. It's going to be all right, and, 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 and God and Daddy God's going to be, 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 answer our prayer. And Jesus is our representative. Jesus is our high intercessor. Jesus is our high priest. And he, and he says, Daddy, would you do it for him, please? This is point number two, major point number two. Positioned by God's, God's qualification qualifications. Positioned by God's qualifications. Who are the people God qualifies to minister to the people God's love? This thought. This thought. This thought. The best person to minister to a person in a situation is the person that's been through it. Been sick? Had cancer? You the, you, you, you the, you the, you're the person that's the, that, that God wants to use as the intercessor in, in somebody's life. Lost a loved one near and dear to you? Lost, lost a loved one near and dear to you. You're the person that God wants to use as an as a intercessor in, in somebody else's life. Because, because you know why? Because you understand. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Because, because you understand. You see, for every, every high priest, verse 1, for every high priest taken from among men is ordained for the things of men, for men and the things of God. He is a man himself who knows and understands what it is to have the frailties of being a man, the weaknesses. Because, because of this, he knows how to present. He knows how to present God's case, God's case, man's case before God. Because of this, he knows how to present man's case before God. He he ministers to he 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 ministers to the people because he himself is is a people. Bad English, but you understand the point. He himself is a piece of it. The story, the story is, see if I get this right. The story, the story of, 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 is, is of two people called to, to read a passage of scripture be, on, on, on a particular program on stage. And, 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 the, and the eloquent man gets up and, and, and reads and reads, the, and, and, and the people applaud. And, and the applause is very well done. God bless you. Very well done. But this old guy gets up. Old guy gets up. You've heard this story before. This, this, old, this old guy gets up, and, and, and he, can't, he, can't, he can't get the English right. He, he's splitting the words right. He's, he's, messing, he's, he's, he's almost reading it wrong. But, but, but when he gets through reading, when he gets through, when he's, when he's finished, when he's finished reading, there's not a dry eye in the place. Why? Because that man knows that man understands uh, what he was. See, you can read God's word and not know and, 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 and only, only, only hear words and see words on the page. But you can read God's word and understand what God is saying to you in your life in, in, in his word. And when you get through reading it, it'll touch somebody's life. It'll touch, it'll touch your life. This is the man, this is the woman who himself understands and, 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 and who, who the, the, the understands what, what somebody else is going through. And because of this, he knows how to present God's, present man's case before God. He, take, take, him, take him for he, he or she is able to speak for God to the people. He is anointed by, she is anointed by God to speak into somebody's life. Let me say this to you. You are anointed to speak. When, when God sends you into a situation, he is anointing you to speak to and to, to speak Speak into somebody's life. Will you let God use you speak into somebody's life? They're hurting. They don't want to, they don't want to hear corporate answers. They don't, they want to, they don't want to hear uh, uh, two cent answers. They want, they want somebody who's going to minister to them. They want an intercessor. They want somebody who's, who's going to speak God's word into, them, into their life. That's what they want. And God is sending you. And won't you let him use you? 
Knowing that by God to speak. He or she is able to stand on behalf of God. Verse, verse 5, uh, for, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. It, the NLT, every high priest is a man chosen by God to represent other people in, 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 their, de in their dealings with God. He leads men, she leads men in prayer and in, in worship and in righteousness and in morality and in studying the springs of God. Who, who is this person? What is, what's in this person that qualifies, qualifies this person to be, to be in the position that God will use them? The, this, this person is a high, the high priest, that this person, the minister that the God sends must be a person that has compassion. Can you feel for people? Can you? Compassion. Can you feel for, for people? Who can have, verse 2, who ha, can have compassion on the ignorant and on them uh, 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 that are out of the way, for he himself also is compassed with, with, with infirmity. Uh, let's, let's cut to the, to the check. He, he been, he, he's just like they are. He got his struggles. He's got he's got his weaknesses. And and, and, and while he's while he's the the, the the ignorant, those who have sinned and, and, and did not know it and are guilty of sinning in, in sinning in ignorance. The, those those who are the, the other the, 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 those who are who deliberately go out of the way, those who know they're messing up and doing it anyway. And this this person says, "I've been just I, I'm just I've been just like you. And if I'm not careful, I'll be just like you again." The person ministers with compassion when when they feel when they when they when you, can, when you feel when you recognize and you feel and you know that you 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 just come out of that, those categories one of those categories, or you still struggle with one of them right now. Compassion, because he he understands for all have sinned. All have sinned. All have sinned. All have sinned and come short, come short of the, 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 the glory of God. This high priest must offer, uh, verse 3, must offer not only for the people, but he must offer, also offer for, him, for the sacrifices for his own sins. While I spend time praying for you, I'm also praying for myself. Not only not only this person understands, but this person must be one who God selects and puts into position. Verse 4. Selected by God, chosen by God to represent. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God as was him. The, the person is gifted, uh, uh, the person is chosen and given God gifts from God with the qualification to, to, to uh, from with all the qualifications to, to do what God has called him to do to the people on earth. This person, God, God gifts this person with the qualification to be a, a high, high priest, Gift, gifted to stand, gifted to stand in the gap. But with, but with the calling, uh, with the calling, uh, 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 with the calling also comes take comes humility. I gotta slow down. Comes humility. Humility to minister in the calling. Let me cut this to the chase. Don't get beside yourself because God's put his hand on you. Christ was qualified. Christ was the only perfect person qualified. Don't put himself, don't put, don't put, don't get, don't, don't, don't get beside yourself. Uh, be, taking you all that and three bags of chips because God has put his hands on you and used you to minister. So for verse five, uh, you, you, you have to have some humility. Humility. Come on down. Come on down, come on, come on, come on. Gifted to sing, come on down. Gifted to preach, come on down. Gifted to teach, come on down. Have, 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 have some hu, hu, humility. Mm -hmm. It does not, it does not, it does not take long, it does not let to take long to, to, to know if an individual has a humble spirit. Talk to him. Listen to him. I, I, the, the, last, the last lesson I taught, I talked about all of us have themes. All of us, if, if you keep listening to us long enough, you start to hear the theme of the conversation. And sometimes, sometimes the theme is about gifted, but sometimes the, but the theme is about me, myself, and I. 
And God is, God is saying, I, I, I want to use you. I want to use you greater than I'm using you now. But, but you, need, you, 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 you need some humility. No man takes the honor of being a priest. You don't put yourself in this position. God puts you there. You, 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 don't, enter, you, you, you don't choose it because it's a profession. You don't choose it because you think you can earn some, 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 some money in it. Uh, you don't choose it for that. You're in this position because God puts you there. Only those who, who are called by God can serve him in humility and, 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 and serve him in truth and fulfill, and fulfill all that God wants them to fulfill. With the calling, with the calling, with, with the calling, all along with humility comes the suffering. Verse 7. And who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers of supplication with strong crying and tears unto him, that was able to save him from death, and was heard in, and was heard in that he feared. No, no high priest, no minister has has ever suffered like Jesus has suffered. No, none of us have. None of this. None, none of us. None of us were, were, were nailed. Was nailed to a cross. With the calling, with with the calling, with the humility, with the suffering, comes the lesson of obedience. Verse eight. Though he was sin, a son, yet he learned. Obedience by the things he, which he suffered. Jesus was the Son of God, and he and he did not have to come to earth to save man, but he but he came because his daddy said so. It was it was God's will, and the only way and the only way and the only way God Christ could save mankind was to obey his daddy, Abba Father, Daddy God. It was to obey him and go to the earth and say and come and suffer as a man. He obeyed God the Father. So if so God, if God's got his hand on you and you're going through something right now, he's just, he's just maturing you. He's just, bring, he's just bringing you along. He, he's just getting you, getting you to the point where, where he can use you just a little bit more. He obeyed God. He experienced obedience by suffering as a man. He learned what it is to obey. Have you learned what it, Jesus, have you learned what it is to obey? Obey. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them. Amen. Last point. Verse 10. You you've been positioned. You be, you position now better than you ever have been. You position be, but because God qualified you, but finally you're positioned for unique possibilities. What's going to happen in verse 2023? Ex exceedingly, the, the verse says, the verse says, exceedingly above all that we can ask or think. Verse ten, called of God after the high order, uh, after the uh, call a, a high priest after the order of uh, Melchizedek. Beyond, beyond, you are called, but you, and you are given beyond, and your expectations are beyond human abilities. It, it, it's exceeding, it's the exceeding the qualification of, of the human of the human expectation. Yeah. Ephesians three and twenty. For our God is, is our God is able to do exceedingly. Above all that we could ask or think. So what's he, so what's he want to do with you? What's he want to do with me? If God has called a person, that person is called to, to a position by the qualifications that God has set. And God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that that person could ever ask or think. God wants to use you. I'm done. God wants to use you. God, Jesus was our intercessor. Great high priest, our intercessor. God wants to use you on, on earth as an intercessor. 
God wants to use you. God wants to use, use you in such a way that you, the unique, the, you, there are unique possibilities. There are unique possibilities. But Jan, when you get to, to December 31st, when you get to January 1st, 2024, you will look back over your life and you will think things over and you remember the, and you will see the unique possibilities that God gave you in 2023 and how he blessed you and how he used you. Let him use you. Let him use you. God, our Father, we thank you. I thank you. One more time, I thank you. Jesus. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, so to say the Lord. God, I thank you for your spirit that allows a man, that allows a woman to be used by you. And we give you glory, honor, and praise for being used. In Jesus' name, amen.